Hi good people. I welcome you to my YouTube channel Dennis Odinko. Feel free to subscribe but don't forget to like this video. Yesterday the deputy president was in Korea. He was there to commission or rather to launch his banya all the way to Lorgorian Road. These are roads that has been launched several times. So deputy president was there to relaunch this road. So during the launching something actually happened that is a little bit unique. As he was talking to the youth by the roadside, a sizable number of about, about 200 to 300 youth started heckling him. Some were saying corruption, some shouting ufisadi and all sorts of things. Then interestingly, Deputy Ruto <laughs> told them to stop and actually accused them that they were drunkards. <laughs> so there are some things that we must analyze to actually know exactly what happened. First of all, how can a group of over 200 or 300 drunkards all agree to be present at a function presided over by the deputy president? And how did the deputy president know that these youths were actually drunkards? In answering these questions, there are two interesting things that we must first look into. First of all, politics in Kenya is all about propaganda, machinations, and all sorts of funny, funny tactics. The first, first point about this is that the youths must have been fed in there purposefully by the organizers of this event. Their main aim or rather purpose was actually to allulate and support the deputy president as he talks about his 2022. The, the youth were actually to wamshangilie, eh? that is so much loved, but they did actually the opposite. <laughs> Instead of allulating and supporting the deputy president, they were actually shouting him down, telling him of his sadly corruption and all sorts of things. But the deputy president, knowing very much the damage that that could have caused him, he beat them in their own games by branding them drunkards. <laughs> this is interesting. And to further the propaganda, the local media nation, if you look at in their Facebook, or rather their print media, they are saying Ruto silences, silences drunkards. <laughs> this is all politics, my friend. Politics of propaganda. So how did the deputy president know that these people were drunkards? Either he was privy that a group of drunkards were to attend his function. And he was also privy that the group were actually to support him as he talks. But they did the opposite. It's interesting. So guys, I don't have much to talk today. I just wanted to bring your attention to the kind of propaganda that our politicians are deploying and tactics, dirty tactics. And they have even gone further now to draw in the media. I advise the Kenyan media to be objective in their reporting. Let them call the kettle black. Let them not massage anybody's ego. Kenyans are suffering. There is too much unemployment economic crisis everywhere, people losing job, business is not doing well, Juakali is really not doing well. And I strongly believe that even if the youth must have been fed there to support the deputy president, they must have changed their mind and decided to call the kettle black. Otherwise, guys, subscribe to my channel, but don't forget to like this video. Thank you.